so that's my discipline that I'm challenging you to embrace beginning now. Well, I recommend you start with 10 minutes a day. Get up in the morning and before you start your day, sit on the edge of your bed, put your timer on. Almost everyone here has a phone. Your phone has a timer. I love timers. I use my timer all the time. It'd be, you, it's embarrassing for me to think about all the, I, 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 I wouldn't even want to share with you all the things I use my timer for, it's crazy. Put your timer on 10 minutes, sit on the edge of your chair, tell God you love Him. That's the best way to enter into prayers. You start telling God you love Him, right away His heart opens wide and He starts pouring grace into your soul. Tell God you love Him. Tell Him whatever else you feel like telling Him. Think about your day. Look at your, look at your room. Some of you have your own room. Who here? I'm not, that's a personal question. Doesn't matter. If you have your own room, you're especially blessed. You know, just sit in your room. Tell God you love Him. If your room's a mess, start cleaning up your room. I'm serious. Start cleaning up your room. Do this for a few days. Your room is going to be pristinely clean. You're going to feel better about yourself. You can use your 10 minutes to make your bed in the morning. As long as you're talking to God while you're making your bed in the morning. When I make my bed in the morning, I pray the prayer I prayed earlier. Oh my Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you. I, you know, that, that's the way I like to start my prayer. Take your timer, put it on, spend 10 minutes, and watch and see how it transforms your day. It's a simple thing to do, but it involves getting yourself out of bed in the morning. You can't hit the snooze button until your mom finally comes in, drags you out of bed, and throws you on the bus, you know? You're going to have to get out of bed 10 minutes before she does that. Put your timer on. Tell God you love Him. Say your favorite prayers. Again, clean your room up. God loves it when we do stuff. Just do it in the presence of God. Don't check your text messages. Don't check your email. Don't check your friends' Snapchat storylines or whatever else. Facebook. you got to wait 10 minutes before you do that. Do you think you can do that? Do you think you can go 10 minutes without checking Snapchat first thing in the morning? That's my challenge for you, okay? That's the, that's the discipline for this week. Next week, I'll have another discipline for you. God bless you, and God bless America.